welcome to the very first World Metal Congress. I gotta say, it's an incredible feeling to be up here because this is a product of so many people's incredible hard work, but also 50 years of a culture that's pervaded every time zone. This is about unity, it's about humanity, and it's about connecting people regardless of where they're from, which I think is a really powerful thing. So thank you so much for being here. It's sort of a little bit of everything, all put together under this banner of where our scene is, how we can make it better, and where we're going. There is actually 80 bands from 80 countries being represented, so even though it's in London, it is not just about the UK, it has a very broad world view. Indonesia and VM, they have a lot of bands that you will never ever heard of. Of course, they have um, the, uh, like the language barrier, but if you go there and see what they have to offer, man, they, they really are really good. Nobody wanted to, uh, was interested in us in the early days. We had, to, we had to make our own decisions and our own way. Because everywhere you go, oh, you, you can't play that. What's that stuff you're playing? We have some really special people here from all around the world, from Syria, from Costa Rica, from Afghanistan, from Nepal, and the list goes on and on. We've seen two screenings at the World Metal Congress, a film about the metal scene in Latin America called Songs of Injustice, which shows that metal not only exists everywhere, but is a defiant genre that speaks to so many people across borders. Si hay algo en el metal pesado latinoamericano, es que nos dio una voz a aquellos que vivíamos en el borde. Fue un grito para decir, acá estamos. Y a partir de eso, empecemos a dialogar de algunas cuestiones que no están siendo vistas. And also, Syrian metal is war, a really harrowing, affecting, but also ultimately uplifting film. This is the first time I'm here and my film was screening and I, I can see you know, people's reaction, I can talk to people. It's, it's amazing, it's such a unique experience. You know, such a thing doesn't happen every day for people like us, you know, to, to be appreciated, to be able to show people what we, we do, what we love to do, or what we are passionate about. So, it's such a lovely event. Uh, to see other experience like the guy uh, from Syria, and their story was very impressive. For me personally, it really makes me think about stuff and how I am as a metalhead and we as uh, the festival can support metalheads all over the world um, to live uh, the metal life. I think it's a very inspirational event. It's so nice to see all these metalheads from all over the world and talk about like global metal and see what's going on like in Syria and in ne Nepal and in other like countries. It's, it's, it's actually really inspiring. People don't often associate the heavy metal genre or heavy metal scene with thinking, thought and discussion. People just think of the music, so it's been great. Some fascinating discussions about the metal scene both here uh, and the metal scene around the world as well. It's been a fascinating day. For me today was a chance to actually meet with a lot of people that, um, that I don't get to hang out with or, or we've only ever corresponded across the internet, you know, people from other countries and stuff. So to actually um, get in a room with people and discuss these things is, is, um, is incredible. I think with World Metal Congress what we really wanted to do was not be the final word on where metal is, but to start the conversation. Metal is a truly global phenomenon that we should all embrace through opening more doors to others to come and celebrate this culture with us. It reaches out and can reach out to marginalized communities and marginalized people, not just in terms of countries outside Western Europe and the US, but also um, people that are marginalised for other reasons. The idea is to not just talk about stuff, but for people hopefully to take things and ideas away, maybe solutions to things, and, and to act on them, hopefully, 
fingers crossed. It's been like better than I could have hoped. We are trying to do something a little bit new here, so we didn't really know how people were gonna sort of take on to the idea. The press that surrounded the event has been very, very, very supportive. And just judging by the conversation that's been sort of happening in the sort of the rooms behind us at the, today, um, I think, you know, who knows, maybe 2020. <laughs> oh, God.